We are going right back to the clickbait. <laughs> right back to it. The top G is free. He is a completely innocent man to me. Sneakers. Yeah, a cook in a corner. What a weirdo. I felt like if KSI was white, he wouldn't have said that. Just because you're a black person doesn't mean you can say the P word to it. I do want to talk about the whole like little conspiracy thing or whatever, right? About the whole Matrix thing. These weirdos that just wear like what masquerade masks yeah. in. They go to balls and then at the end of the ball they like kill a couple of kids, drink their blood, and then they all have sex with each other. I, if you want to ask me, I genuinely think that happens, 100%. A man who transitions into a woman should not be competing with women in a combat sport. It's as simple as that. Take I your trousers like off and sit on a cactus, you prick. <laughs> Welcome back to episode nine of the Glass House podcast, the home of breaking news and transparent views. It up again. But anyway, um, yeah, appreciate everyone who watched last episode. If you didn't watch last episode, make sure you check it out um, after this podcast, obviously. Um, but uh, but yeah, episode nine. Next episode, episode ten. Not gonna say who, but we do have our very first guest. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if everything goes all right and uh, they're still available, then, uh, then yeah, next week we're going to have our first guest, uh, which is big for us. No, um, it is. Yeah, because uh, the person themselves is a content creator. They've got uh, a following of their own and things. And um, it's interesting because I've actually watched this person a couple of times and he's, you know, super close with somebody who's pretty much like in the biggest group in, in the UK. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. So make sure you're here for next week's episodes. But today, um, anyway, there's a lot that's happened over the last week. And, uh, and I think just judging from last episode, last episode, we kind of made it a... Um, like a not so like it was a clickbaity. It was a selfish episode. We made it about us. Yeah, kind of like yeah. we, it was based on like you know, but it was good situations like, I, and I life scenarios. That. Yeah, I enjoyed that episode. But like, we understand like as small as we are now, the game is the game, right? The game is the game, and we well, despite the episode being the most engaging with the viewers who actually did watch it because they stuck around and watched a lot of the episode compared to other ones. Just unfortunately, because we weren't clickbaiting the hell out of it. Didn't get the views that we... So we are going right back to the clickbait. <laughs> right back to it. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, how was your week been, Mike? Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Um, like I said, not a lot has happened. But it's been great. That story I told though last week about uh, my mate, he literally messaged me like the day after the podcast came out and he's like, bro, you should have... You could have said my name. You could have said who I... like." I, he was just so proud of that story, bless him. <laughs> he was like, I've got so many more stories to tell you that you can say on it. Honestly, God, he absolutely... But he actually watched it with the girl as well. Oh, <laughs> no way. <laughs> and, and what a psycho. <laughs> and apparently they were just both laughing. I was oh, like, right. okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair yeah, play it to bit, him. Yeah, it was a bit like... Fair play to But him. I say to him, I'm like, listen, you're a... Like, you're a baby still. I'm like, you do not want me saying your name. You do not want to look back yeah, in a few no, years and no. be like, nah, no, you, di you didn't want that. You didn't want that. But um, yeah, shout out to him because he is, I mean, he is down to like say some, uh, and I know more stories uh, that is just, which I need yeah. to get permission from. It's a bit wild, but yeah. Yeah, um, yeah week's been good though. Like literally, like week's been good. Just come back from the pier, had some chips. It's been lovely. The weather's been so nice. Yeah, it's so, been nice. yeah, it's been good. It's been good. What about you? Um, yeah, chilling. Um, I uh, actually, I did take my first L this week. So I took my first L. I uh, I got rejected for a job. So what happens? It's life. I didn't want it anyway. So <laughs> fuck you. But they handed me an L anyway. I think it's because. I think something that I said in it wasn't like bad or anything, but like something I said, which maybe raised a few eyebrows and uh, basically, it was basically it was a part-time job and I wanted full-time. And they were kind of like, well, obviously he's going to leave and he, if he goes and finds a full-time job. So 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, so obviously. So, uh, so yeah, but I gotta be honest, gotta be honest. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been good. And uh, looking forward to the weekend. Big football game on Easter Sunday. Oh. So, hope everybody has a lovely yeah, Easter. I, I'm off now. 10 days off. Going to New Key next week. I can't wait just to get oh, away yeah, from the A few days off work, oh, no, innit? Oh. Watch it rain, though. Like, I know for a fact it's gonna rain. Like, the weather's been re- so nice. Yeah. And it's just going to rain and I'm like, oh God. Comment below what your favourite Easter egg is. What's yours? Kit Kat Chunky. Mm. Is Kit Kat your favourite chocolate? Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I think that's actually mine as well. It's either that or Snickers. Yeah, Snickers solid. No, mine, no, um, my favourite Easter egg though is the fruit and nut dairy milk one. disgusting. Because it actually has fruit and nut in the egg. I, do you know what it looks like? It literally looks like a turd. Oh, yeah, it's nasty, like, like nah, like a fruit. Like I literally fruit, feel like it? every single episode we've, we've talked about shit at some point. <laughs> like, it's what happens. Like, we're both, <laughs> we're guys, like, it's what happens, yeah. you know. But, um, no, uh, whole nut I could have. A fruit and nuts, vile. Ugh. Nah, fruit and nut <gasps> is fire. Like, it is banging. But, um, what about hot cross bun? You a fan of a hot cross bun? Nah, it's just a bun, isn't it? With just raisins in. Like, like what? What's I the like fuss? It, I do. do you, oh, mate, put a put a bit of bacon in one of them. Bacon. I'm telling you right now. Put a bacon in a hot cross bun. That bacon in a hot cross bun. I am. Uh, I'm a big fan of sweet and salted. I'm a big fan of putting savory and is it savory and sweet? Yeah. I, I, that is like my favorite food. Like sweet and salted popcorn. It's fucking. It's oh yeah, nice. sweet and salted popcorn is nice, but um, I like I a bit. I don't know what else. I like a bit of chocolate and cheese. What? Swear down, bit of chocolate and cheese. That's fucking. That's pure weird. That. No, I like that. Um, it's nice. But uh, but yeah, no, that's pretty much it for the week. Nothing too. Ev- I always feel like I f- I do forget something, but nothing too eventful. But we are. Is it, if it was important, do you remember? Yeah. Well, the baby's thirty weeks this week. It's crazy. So man. another nine, isn't it? Ten, isn't it? Ten, forty weeks. I thought it was thirty-nine. But uh, but yeah, no, it's due. June fifteenth, so one day after my birthday. That's so. wild as well. I know. Um, but that uh, crazy. but yeah, no, everything's all good. Um, all right, so into the the juicy stuff now. I do wanna into the CB. I need to like so if if I do look off into the distance before I speak here, it's because I'm just trying to be like careful with what I'm trying to say. Oh, you I thought at? you was looking at the helicopter. I, I, didn't know you said, I didn't know what you was looking at. I'm like, what's he looking at? No, I'm trying to like. Because I want to just be, because su- we are going to touch upon some touchy subjects this episode. So, um, just want to make sure. I don't I care. Just, I'm I, just careful yeah. what, what I say. I, I, because... don't care. I don't care if people get offended. I genuinely Oh, no, don't I don't know. I neither do I. But, like, I don't want to, like, say something that I don't actually agree with. Or Oh, yeah. 100%, you know, like, sometimes yeah. you say, oh, yeah, yeah. But then actually think about it. I was like, well, nah. I've done that about six times. Yeah, I know. So, um, but yeah, well, the biggest news that came out uh, the last week was obviously KSI's and the Sidemen. I obviously include the Sidemen in that. Um, Wait, one chunks in Philly there as well. Yeah, chunks in Philly yeah, were there, but there. but chunks didn't laugh. But anyway, the Did si- he not? I no. didn't see the clip. But uh, the situation was so uh, the Sidemen had a video. If you don't know the Sidemen, like the biggest group in the UK on YouTube, they're like the biggest in the world. Let's be honest, Sidemen are probably the biggest. Like group. content group, yeah, yeah, in the world, yeah. So like the biggest group in the world, um, and obviously their main star. Everybody knows who KSI is. If you don't know who KSI is, you probably live under a rock. But he said something that really offended the Asian community. Um, so they were playing a game of countdown, a mix of letters, and then amongst these letters, he made a four-letter word, uh, which spelt out P. A K I. So unless you're daft, obviously spell that out. So um so yeah, so he made that word um out of there and people have came for him They're savagely and the side men because it's almost like you know I I would also say you're bullies as well, because if you're laughing with the bully who's bullying other people then you're just as guilty. This, Obviously, they weren't directly bullying anyone, but do you know what I mean? They're just as implicit to that. Do you know? Do you, do you know? Honestly, this is this is this is how I feel about it, and especially like with all the side men, like them yeah. all laughing and stuff like that. Listen, if they could, it wouldn't surprise me if they genuinely said the N word around KSI. Like I'm, I'm not even if they made like jokes towards him, saying like 
type of things like that because Kisai would not react like in a type of yeah. way like that whatsoever so the fact then like he come out and said it they were like oh yeah like I, I genuinely think there was like an underlying a big underlying of like racism and like towards that subject like with the side men around there I felt like if Kisai was white he wouldn't have said that no but because he is black, yeah, he thought he was allowed to say it. When no, yeah. you're not allowed to say it. Yeah. And then you had all these like white little minions, there, and it was like, oh my god, he said that word, the word like I've been wanting to say, but I can't say. Like that's what yeah. I. That's what it felt like. Yeah. That's like that's genuinely what it felt like. Like I. I, I, I think it was just like a massive, massive like, just ignorance it was because like. There's definitely a lack of knowledge because they obviously understand each and every single one of them understand the power of what the N word could and and what, if they ever got caught saying that if they ever did say that there's a lot of power behind it because obviously you know but by them saying that word they almost felt like it was fine or it was funny because they don't really understand the history and obviously the impact in. And I was, I was genuinely the most surprised I was of his, like, and I do kind of do feel bad for him. The way, like, Vic reacted, like, he was kind of like a, uh, like, you know, and I, you can tell, like, you watch it. If you watch the video or watch it, we can't watch it back because they deleted it, but it's probably out there somewhere. He, like, you can tell in his eyes, like, he wanted to, like, say something, but... So why didn't he, though? It was everybody's around nah, him laughing and I don't give a rat's ass that. Like, I feel like he's just, a, he's just as at fault. Like, he should have genuinely... Of course. He shouldn't have let that clip come out. If he was like, he should have pulled Kess out of I'm like, listen, I don't care who you are. Like, you... That's that's offensive to him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, because even though he's Indian, like, it's still... No, but, like, you, you know, you know just as well. Like, regardless, like, for people, if they're from Pakistan, if they're Indian, they're Bengali, they could be Middle Eastern, yeah. Arab... Do you know if you're like, you're brown or like whatever, people would even use it towards black people as well. Like you've seen it loads of times, like where people would just use that one specific word, the P word, to describe that sort of color or look of people. Oh, and, um, and yeah, like I've, I've definitely, like I've said the word in the past, right? Nor towards somebody in a obviously horrible, bullying, nasty, racist way. But like I've used it in a sense like, if someone from Sweden, I'd call him a Swede or yeah. we're Maltese. Someone called me a Malt or something yeah. like that. I would shorten our words to call somebody if they're from there, that. But I wouldn't say it to like an Indian person. So that's why on one hand of it, I was kind of like, well, is it I that? I hate that word. I but is it that, word. like on one hand of it, I was thinking like, well, is it that bad? And I was kind of thinking, yeah, it is bad because in the context and the way they were using it, they knew it was a bad word yeah. and they still proceeded and laughed about it. Do, do you know why though as well? I, I, I think I think it's because when obviously like the Pakistani people came to this country, that was that word was used to insult them. Like, yeah. like you seen this is England and you yeah. can see just everybody insulting the guy and the guy was Indian. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So everybody was calling him that word. I hate that word. Like I yeah. genuinely don't like that word. But it's not a but. But like, at, like people from at a, like yeah. like thing they call them Arabs yeah that's not offensive though I don't know it's weird but I, I suppose it's when it's got that certain type of stigma and history no that's it. exactly what it is it's the stigma sorry it's the stigma of the word that's exactly what it yeah. is well, that's exactly what it the is the stigma of the word is offensive it is but then also at the same time I feel like can you not like are we not can we not be in a place where we can regain the power of a word like no. why why can it why could you not then use that word because it is short a shorter phrase from where somebody's from like i said you can use it from somebody who's from sweden call them a swede call us a malt do you know what i mean whatever right can you not take power back into that word as long as you're using it appropriately I, I, I'll, t I'll tell you I, I, and, I, and, I, and i'll say this right because do you know the m word amongst black people yeah they say it amongst each other don't they yeah i have never seen two people from pakistan converse with each other and say yo p word what's going on like that it, no the stigma i've definitely seen it in school like boys taking a piss and whatever because they would try and regain the power back from that I, word honestly, do you know what i mean i've never i, I that obviously the, that's your experience like i've never yeah. been, had that experience obviously there too. the school that we went to is like multi-diverse and mm -hmm. whatever and it literally 
everybody was racist to each other and everyone would call oh yeah 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 of course like it's just part of the banter and whatever but I feel like when you're a middle class white man or even a lower class white man who's definitely in a very white communal area where you know it's offensive to say that word then it definitely is I never once like obviously like like you said when we were in school like I was called like white white boy Adan like I was yeah. called everything but I never once felt like I was being racially Rush, abused yeah. like do you know what I mean because at the end of the day like you would genuinely give it back just as much as yeah, you would say yeah, yeah, but I swear to god I have never ever used I've never said that word to a Pakistani person before ever in life I don't think I've ever honest to god I've never said it to one in life I don't oh, no, of course because not. it's because right even if you're friends with someone now it's like you said it's just a stigma around that word We've, you've seen programs you've seen everything that that word is like so like disrespectful like I don't yeah that that might be one of the worst words like honest to god like I genuinely hate that I think word. I think we can be in a position though where I feel like you know, where like, some of these words have so much stigma and history behind them. Like, I would just love if, like, we could all just get to a place where we can just take power back from these words and not let certain words affect you no, or, or affect people. Yeah, you know? I know because you, you yeah, because you like the, the the like the free speech type of thing though as well. And they're like, so I I understand what you mean. Like, I I genuinely do. I but... just feel like like we need to just move past to a point where. Like, words are empty. Words don't mean nothing. But like, do, they don't. But you know, like, when you said about, uh, like, when we spoke about last week with the digital blackface stuff and you said yeah. about Piers Morgan, about, like, he shouldn't be allowed to say how that person... So it, it's up to that community whether they want to, yeah. like, embrace that word or not. Like, do you know what I mean? But th- it, they never will because you go to anywhere in England and I'm telling you now there is a family on that corner being called that word yeah it's it's it, that's just it's what it is it's this guy I don't well, like there's it. racism everywhere isn't it? especially in like Wales and oh, obviously Cardiff but like you step no, no, outside you still, of Cardiff yeah, you still racism find thing though in Cardiff. yeah of course but like you know you step anywhere outside of that like it's it's not it's not good like We've gone and played football outside of Cardiff, oh, yeah. in a few been, games yeah. and stuff, you know, and it's racism I've been called is rife. Mowgli and everything I have, man. I swear to God, I've been called a lot of words. Yeah, so a lot of words. So I'm yeah, the hack though, I don't get it. Like I, I just, just never got it. Like never got it. But um, but yeah, I just think like I think what they've done, and I think what KSI has done to make amends is is a good step forward. You know, like he went to mosques, he went to Bradford. Um, and he, I, spoke I, I, to a few, you know, mosque leaders and stuff. He didn't roll in with the camera crew stuff, but obviously there would be people there that would take pictures and no, stuff. And I, I, and I, I just feel like, no, but you 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 got to let people try and make amends, Mike. You can't just, like, say, no, that's it now. You're racist. Like, you got to... No, no, I don't think KSI is racist. Exactly. So you got to let him try to make an make amends yeah. with, a, with a community to, you know... But to forget about I, what he did. But I, it wasn't a case of I don't think did you I never once thought that case I was a racist. Oh no, I know. I never thought it's just that, ignorant. That's what it was. Th- that's exactly what it is. So I don't feel like then you need to go and do the things that he's doing. You made you do not need somebody to tell you that you made a mistake. Yeah. So you should sit down on your own and realize yeah. the mistake you made and get on with it. Yeah, he knows that. I think um well I mean, you but, know, a lot of people I think actually I think it was Vidal actually who said I think he tweeted like, "Oh, the editors did him dirty by they did. leaving it." They did. Yeah, but but yeah, but where where's the lesson learned if he, they cut that out? Because the thing is, right, like you said, somebody the lesson ain't gonna be learned. But then, somebody can make a mistake, and then no, he, but he can cover that mistake. No, but it'd be better for him because he could have said it in a much worse setting. He could have said, oh, "I don't know, live TV," or I don't know. He could have said it, in, but I think it was important for that to have stayed in. So he can learn from his mistakes. Because otherwise, he would have carried on doing it. But what if this would have happened, right? What if after they filmed that episode, Vic went up to him and was like, "Yo, listen, you should never, ever, ever have said that word." And though, did yeah, but this is what I'm trying to say. They should have all went up to him, and be like, "Listen, that is totally unacceptable. You cannot be saying that type of word." Then that 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 would have been cut out. Then it would have been cut out of that episode. But the fact is, nobody said anything to him because he got lick asses around him constantly so that's why nobody no I, I, so I well i think it's that and i think it's also at the same time they they were also ignorant and i think they all learned a very valuable lesson there and i and i like like i said i did feel a little bit bad for vic because he did say in his tweet like as a person from yeah. the south asian community like i should have 
said something, I should have did something, but it's like that if flight or fight fight or flight in it. Do you know what I mean? You either like stand up and say something, but obviously I don't know, as he comes off across camera, he doesn't look like a fighter, does he? So that's maybe why he just didn't say anything. Do you know what do you know what seriously wound me up? Most because I, I kind of saw the clip a bit, and people I've spoken to, yeah. like I've spoken about. So, Vic and Toby are the only ones that didn't give the reaction like the other people did. So, you're telling me out of what he said, the minorities in that group, Vic and Toby didn't warrant the reaction, and then you got Ethan and whoever it was else like laughing their heads off about it. Like you can tell I don't act- in that aspect. Yeah, I, exactly. That's why I don't you can tell. I don't actually remember who laughed or who didn't laugh to I, be fair. I honestly think it was like literally so I know for a fact that Toby because he wrote on a thing, he goes, even though I didn't laugh, I still should have said something. Like, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And you're telling me Vic didn't laugh, so the rest of them laughed and I'm kinda like So yeah, the white people are laughing again, like I don't like yeah. it. I, I, yeah, I, I they don't well, like obviously it. they they should have said something. Put them in a bin and then they copied copied and pasted their apologies. Just on each other's and then just I I just go away from me just le- just stay away from that ball like I nah you're but a bunch I, of clowns you, but you gotta you gotta allow people to uh, especially when they're ignorant like we know they're not racist right like like I don't care size not racist I don't know if the rest of the white people are there I'm deadly serious I, I couldn't <sighs> tell you that but um but yeah I think out of all of them the only person that didn't actually send out an apology was Harry wasn't it wrote a show <laughs> I think he was the only one who de- who never and he's like. He's been on the cusp of a few sort of race, no, I, yeah, you know, type of them comments, you know, and for him not to. And do you know what? I honestly, and I do honestly believe you. If you if you don't think you're in the wrong, like, don't apologize for him. That's what I think. Don't. I think it's a, it's an important lesson for everybody. Don't don't agree with something you don't agree with. Do you know what I mean? Don't agree to do something oh, or no, say 100%. something if you don't agree with 100%. it. Hundred um, percent. But um, yeah, out of all of them, I think he was the only one that didn't apologize. And do you know what? Fair play to him. If he didn't think he needed to apologize, I, I can't even remember if he laughed or anything. But if he did laugh, then he should have apologized. Yeah. I'm sorry. But if he didn't laugh, then he no, yeah, hundred percent. He, he, he wasn't laugh, yeah. like was nothing to do with me. And even if he turned around and he said like, "Yo, listen, that wasn't funny," yeah. then fair enough. Like, do you know what I mean? But um, but yeah. But uh, well, thank you, aside, man, for giving us <laughs> ten minutes of the podcast. I just, I, 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 I really didn't like that clip. I really didn't like it. Yeah. And the fact that they thought that it was okay to leave in, I, it, genuinely, if anybody else made that joke in that group, yeah. if Vic made the joke in the group, it would have been fine. Yeah. If KSI, obviously, they thought if KSI, Toby, or Vic said that said that joke, it would have been fine because they're the minorities of the yeah. group and it doesn't work like that. Just because you're a black person doesn't mean you can say the P words. So, uh, yeah. you, you can't say that. So, yeah. I think, um, I think, yeah, no. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to say. I think the side men these days as well, they, they've, I don't want to say they fell off a little bit, but like, I'm finding it more and more every week that I'm just like not laughing as much on their videos. They're getting old now. They're just getting older. Like, I just they've been doing like, this for like 12, 13 years. I like, feel like the the video ideas and the production behind it is like top. Like you won't find an actual like Mr. Beast level or whatever. Yeah. Like their production value and their videos and their ideas are class. Like I would love to do that for a job. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Of course, 100%. Go to these different countries and yeah. film challenges and stuff. Like it's amazing. But I don't know. I just feel like definitely over, like I probably see like the last year from like last summer to like this kind of summer. They just like I just don't know I don't know what it is I just feel like they're just not as funny anymore I don't know if that's me getting older or I just feel like maybe they might be losing a little bit of passion behind it some videos they have come out the last year been good but there's been plenty of stinkers before there's been like a handful of good ones you know yeah I, I do you watch them mm, I used to I don't anymore I, they, I, see I wish they went the route of like. Because they try and be funny. That's the worst part about it. Yeah, they yeah. try and do these funny videos and they're yeah. not funny. Like, I don't think they've ever been ridiculously funny. Like, like the Tinder videos now are great. Like, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. wicked. But like, they've made like a hundred hide and seek videos. Like, who wants to watch them? Yeah, I know. Um, the, the traveling ones, I think is wicked. Like, the, my favorite one is when one went to, um, it was the ice and then they went into the desert. It was the cold one and the hot hot holiday cold yeah hot. yeah 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 yeah. Man, that yeah, was the best yeah. video yeah, they've ever done that was the best yeah. video they've ever done to me because it wasn't it was just about the experience and about being there and yeah like, and just going mates to see, being yeah. mates like it was like, good yeah no i agree with you when they when they force it I don't a bit, it's not, I do you know 
that's why I'd much prefer a beta squad video these days because they are genuinely funny. Yeah. Like they're funny people. Like Chunks is hilarious. AJ's hilarious. Nick Nico's hilarious. Like they're actually funny personalities. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it comes off on camera. But I feel like, yeah, when you're forcing it a little bit, I, like I'd just rather just like, like, I, like they need to like go sort of like the top gear route. Do you know what I mean? Where you just be yourselves and it comes across on camera and it's funnier. Do you know, do you know the problem is though? Like they've watered themselves down horrendously because they've yeah. got six channels. Like you see them every single yeah. day and it's kind of like, guys, like just, you, you have enough money now. Just put all your eggs into that side men channel, the first one. And just, Go all out and just do that. Yeah. You, you don't need to be doing react videos. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, you like, don't need to. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, they they grind. Like, they do a lot of like videoing and shooting. Like, obviously they've got the react channel, their more sideman channel. You got their main channel. They've got their paid yeah. subscription thing as well, where they do yeah. stuff on it. So like they the podcast do, and stuff like that. Yeah. So they do grind it. Do you know what I mean? But like, yeah, I, I agree with you. I feel like. Maybe they're just losing that spark or fire where they're not coming across as actually that funny. Anymore. So that's what I mean, though, and, and that's why they were built themselves off wanting being funny. Yeah. So trying to be funny in every video, every single day is it's, impossible. It's hard. Yeah. It's, it's impossible. Hard. Yeah. It's hard. So I just feel like they've watered themselves down completely. Yeah. No, I. Agree. But like, man, they have they they were nothing. Like they were genuinely like just nothing. Just boys playing. Just boys playing. Yeah. yeah. And they grew into the biggest, literally the biggest content group ever. And they're all balling. So mega yeah. rich but um, like 100% like well done to him but but yeah no I agree with you no it's a good new, way of putting the it the thing is though we need there needs to be new blood in the UK there needs yeah. to be a fresh new group like beta obviously they're doing yeah. their thing there well needs that's what's to be... good about them though right because they just have the one channel I think no they do they've yeah. got their own individual channels which they put on which is like great yeah. but like they've just got that one channel and that's why every video is like hilarious do you know what I mean but the thing is I think I think obviously like the Sidemen Reacts video, they must have been offered like years, like so and so million. You just do some React videos. Like, do you know what I mean? So they're obviously they're, like, getting posting, paid. Posting, like, but they're getting like a million views yeah, on every what, video. So I mean. they're just getting so, bread in it. So it's crazy. But um, but yeah, no, I felt like I had to say. I'm going to be making 20 grand a day. Yes. Each single one of them are probably making 20 grand a day. Bro, just like give me like 20 grand and I'll last it for the year. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't want to go back to work, please. <laughs> But um, but uh, but yeah, but um, moving on. Hold on, two seconds, right? This Nico and Gideon thing. Have you seen it? Yeah, the biggest menace. Is it good? Yeah, it's funny. It is. Isn't it? So oh. actually, what I didn't realize, right? So when I went to WWE Clash of the Castle in uh the Millennium Stadium, um, I was like weaseling past security and stuff because they showed Leon Edwards, who was obviously yeah. the UFC champion, he was sitting in the front row. I was like, bro, I gotta get a picture. I gotta get a picture. So I was sweet talking. Every single security guard, I get to the final boss, right? Some wedge guy looked like he was a marine or something, like scary looking bloke. I went, oh, bro, any chance I can literally just squeeze in it, just have a quick picture and I'll just run back straight away. You can watch me, you can walk with me, whatever. He's like, nah, I can't do it. I was like, why? He goes, nah, I can't do it. He was like, oh, listen, man. And he basically just told me to just jog do on, one, right? Yeah. But then what I didn't realize, because he goes to me, we've already had somebody try and run into the ring tonight, so we're not doing it. Bro, it was only Nick and Milano, wasn't it? Oh, my Bro, God. some Nick and Milano ruined a potential pitch I could have had with the UFC champion, bro. Because he ran into the ring with a prime ball. But I didn't see it. I think it was like towards like the start of the episode. But basically what they're doing in this is they're daring each other to just do the most outrageous Why didn't he just wait until the like right at the end and then jump in the ring? I don't know. Like, why would Maybe just didn't want to stand around and watch it. Yeah, that's probably that's true. Um, but uh, that is but yeah, funny. no, I, I've just seen a video because I saw the one with uh, Shannon Sharp and it was just like stupid. Shannon Shannon Briggs. I said Shannon Sharp. Sharp. I'm tired. Yeah, Shannon Briggs. Sorry, yeah, but yeah. um, but yeah, but uh, yeah, moving on. Andy yeah, Tate. yeah, go on. So uh, the chop G is free. The chop G. The top G is free. I've been yeah. Uh, are you a uh, you a fan? Man? I am now. Why? I I I I swear to God, I am now. Because, right, how long did he sit in prison for? Since New Year's Eve, I think it was. No, before that one, eh? It was little, but like a week before. So, he sat in there for all that long and he still never got charged with anything. He is a completely innocent man to me. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? But it's crazy how, like, we'll move on to the other subject that eventually, but, like, how they can just literally just, like, clamp down. Do you think it was kind of like an inside hit kind of job? Like, they knew they never had nothing on him and the Romanian government or authorities said... 
do, do you know? Do you know what the I think? The US or someone said lock him up. Do you know that this is what I think? I think the British and the UK got involved. The British and the UK. What am I talking about? The British and the Americans got involved. Yeah. They tried to build a case on him. Realized they had nothing. And then obviously his lawyers have said like, listen, how long you can't keep him? Like this is inhumane. Like yeah, you, you yeah. haven't charged him with anything. He's yeah. just sat in prison doing anything, and he's come out and. He's mate. He'll be as big as ever. I don't care. Yeah. He's gonna be as big as ever. And I would rather listen to Andrew Tate than half of these activists, half of these politicians that just yeah. keep talking dribble. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm a fan. I don't know. I've always. I've kind of. I wouldn't say I was like a big fan. Do you know what I mean? But I was always a fan of everything that he said about empowering men and being a man of value i've always agreed with that obviously i didn't agree with his the women's stuff yeah of course. the women's stuff yeah. like some of his takes were outrageous but some of his points were valid in my opinion they were valid about the one of the ones was um like letting your girl go to the club and and things like that in a sense i can get where he's coming from i can kind of agree with it but you can't obviously hold someone prisoner at, at, like your woman prisoner but i can get what he's saying like why would you let your woman loose in, in the lines then do you know what i mean yeah but is that so that's insecurity on your part though no um maybe maybe not like it doesn't bother me yeah, right yeah. now i would uh, say you're not going yeah but, but as long as a guy takes accountability and is like yeah okay that's my insecurity that's yeah. completely fine but when they're like no i'm not insecure about it no you clearly are yeah. so as long as you take accountability for being insecure about what I think he, doing, yeah. I think his stance was more so of like, like um, why is she wanting to go there, like in the first place, like, or, like I don't want you to go. What like so? Why would you want to go? Like why would you want to go to a club where you're gonna get hit on nonstop? Men are gonna try and touch your ass. Men are gonna try and dance on you. Like they're gonna do all of that. Like there's no such thing as oh yeah, I'm just gonna dance with my girls on it. It doesn't happen. So, like so, every woman gets approached in a so, club or touched. So which is sad. So what about a guy, right? Because I really want to know this. What about a guy, right? Just just a normal guy that goes yeah. out with like a grenade, just ready to explode, like absolutely dog, like like she's like a, a three on a rect- like she is really horrendously bad. Do you think he feels the same anxiety when she goes out? Well, there's a three out of ten. Yeah, she's like, she's like nobody. You know for the fact that nobody is no, going to approach I, that girl. I think from his perspective, though, it doesn't. That doesn't make sense because from his perspective, like he creates himself to be a man of high value and substance, so he's not going to attract three out of tens, and he doesn't want that for the rest of the people. I, no, I, I understand what you mean, but but somebody's it, it, taste might not be another person's taste. So this guy might think his chick is like the baddest thing that ever walked, and she's not. Do you still think he gets the same insecurity though when she goes out? Maybe, maybe not. I think he does. Like, maybe, no, maybe no, not. I genuinely think he does. But it I doesn't s- mean that somebody is going to go. Somebody, you... I can guarantee you somebody will. <sighs> Listen, there's, so, there's always someone uglier than you. <laughs> I was going to say something bad. That there's is someone well. always uglier than you. But nah. One I... of them people who works in the toilets made to be coming out to grind. <laughs> but, um, but, uh, but yeah, no, I just think, um, I think, yeah, a lot of the stuff that he says about men. It's very empowering. Like, it's very inspirational. And sometimes I do take um, a lot of the stuff that he says, like, you know, to heart. Like, because he says some really strong, empowering stuff. That one video I put in the the, the chat, I was like, holy yeah. shit. Like, what? Like, I could literally watch this every single yeah, day. 100%. Like, it's unbelievable. But, um, but, yeah, obviously the women's stuff. Like, listen... Obviously, a lot of the stuff they says is ridiculous, and I think a lot of the stuff he did say in the past, he did it to go viral. He did it to get clips and stuff. But at the end of the day, he's now his plan is all just come full circle now, where he's now elevated himself to the point. Like, when was the last time we ever heard him say some dumb stuff about women or no, he misogynistic yeah, stuff? He you know, like that was ages ago and people still bring up clips which is fair enough do you know what i mean but like these days now that he's got the following now that he's got the respect of people he says more that i'm powering about men stuff and i think it's do, do you know do you know what i think it was though i think that andrew Tate did not want to go to jail right like yeah. him and his brother they didn't want to go to jail and then when they realized that the things they were saying is yeah. going to seriously land them into trouble yeah he didn't say anything yeah. When he knew, I think it was on the Piers Morgan thing, yeah. where he was like, I mean, I said what I said, but I don't fully mean what I said. Like, it, it, it was kind of strange. Like, and yeah. I, that's the first time I saw, like, a difference to him. Yeah. And, um, I mean, some of the stuff he says, 
about like he was like tricking women and things like that. I, I don't I don't like all that because it's like grooming type thing. I don't like that, but I've but, never but had if, another. But person. if it was a guilty crime, though, you would no, have of course, one hundred percent. But I've never had another person like a guy who's probably who's probably never been in who don't go through what all guys go through, but he can still talk to you is yeah. a huge plus. Yeah. Like it's massive. Like it's you you never want to feel like you're alone. Yeah. You never want to feel like that. And I feel like there's so many people, so many I I'm going to say it. There's so many young men and young boys that can genuinely look at him and take inspiration from him. And oh, I know 100%. Yeah, but there's some people that that are like no, they shouldn't be they, like they shouldn't be listening to him. They shouldn't be doing this because the more that I'm seeing now is the yeah. more that they are literally trying to take the manliness, the the the, the testosterone oh, away from away from men and boys, and I, I hate they that. Don't want you to like be I man hate anymore. that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. There's just too many sickos out there, and I just don't like it. Well, so yeah, I'm a I'm an Andrew Tate fan, and I don't give a rat's ass. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a fan. I'm an Andrew Tate fan. Like I think especially like. Uh, since he's came out of prison and the stuff that he's been saying on Twitter and stuff is, it's cool, man. I think he's a good, listen, and things might come out about him that might be true. He might be the worst person on earth, but I can tell you something now. The stuff that he's saying, I think every young man, even middle-aged men, if you're going for a rough time, listen to him, listen to his words, because life is so much better when you've got a meaning and a passion 100% you know so 100% but um, he's free and you know all respect and I, I don't think his brother gets enough credit as well because obviously he's the younger brother um, he's the better looking Andrew, brother as well yeah because he went to Turkey and obviously Andrew never did he, did he go to Turkey just, yeah did of he? course <laughs> bro look at Andrew's hair he came out looking like a <laughs> like a mouldy orange <laughs> Yo, his head was like a fucking <laughs> lollipop, bro. That was the bottom it's of the set. <laughs> yeah. He goes, and he's been saying, oh, I can grow my hair. Like, just, all right, yeah, uh, you can uh, grow your hair, mate, but what much of it? But, um, but I yeah. just love the fact he just came out with a statement. I made like 7,417 press-ups. That's just all he said. Yeah, and like, he walks like th three miles a day in his sound. What's wrong like this? He, mate, he's a, he is a G. Yeah, like, he is a G. That's, that's what he is. He's the G, isn't he? But, um... Yeah, I respect him, but his brother though, his brother doesn't get enough enough credit in my eyes because like they 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 two of them have obviously been through a lot now. So I think his brothers was the brains. I ain't gonna lie, I think his brother was the brains of the of the operation. I genuinely do. Well, I feel like he was the brains. Do you know how they got famous in Romania? Yeah, the um, ball casinos, didn't they? No, before that, they like got into like the news and stuff. So Tristan was like going out with this, was having an affair with this like news presenter lady who was married or whatever was it? and it made like front pages over Romania and that's what made him famous in Romania and that's how they managed to like get the connects and the casinos oh, wow. and stuff so yeah but uh let me tell you something do you know obviously Andrew Tate was like what would do you know the first po podcast he was on that he went super viral on the uh, first podcast he was on he went super viral on it you've probably never seen the episode do you know Tom Segura Oh, oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, podcast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was the first, like Joe Rogan says to like Tom Skiro sometimes, like you, you created a monster. <laughs> like that's <laughs> what he says to him because he, that was the first like thing. And some of the shit he was saying on that was like, oh my god, you cannot be serious. But he just, yeah, he's always stuck to his guns. So yes, and uh I like good on him. his all like hustlers university thing. I don't like, like that. Dumb. The garage stuff and. I don't think I've ever seen anybody come out and be like, yeah, I'm a millionaire yeah, because yeah. I'm a Andrew Tate. But, you know, do you got to do, it? Do what you got to do? Make your money. But, um, do you know do you know what's the funniest part about the whole Andrew Tate situation? That his biggest fan turned into a cook. That's, the, for me, is the funniest thing ever. Sneeko. Sneeko, mate. He come out and he was like, oh, yeah. I, I, in a corner. Yeah. And he's like sat in the corner watching his missus getting drilled. Like, go away, clown. <laughs> And he's like, but you want to see my clips? He wants... Did you ever see him? Yeah, again? yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy's a clown. Yeah, that, sure. that guy's an ass hat, bro. <laughs> but, um, yeah, a cuck in a corner. What a weirdo. Yeah. Cuck in a... Cuck in a... Yeah. Cuck in a corner, Mike. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the initials for it. C-I-A-A... C-I-A-C, yeah. Cuck in a corner. That's the cuck in a corner. Um, but, uh, be it any more on the top G? Respect to the top G. Free my guy. Do you think he's, uh, you know, obviously, he's actually, no, I do want to talk about the whole, like, little conspiracy thing or whatever, right? About the whole Matrix thing. Obviously, I don't believe that I'm 
in a computer game right now and I've got some machines that's now connected to my head in another universe and I'm just living this life because it's a simulation or whatever. But people do genuinely believe that. Do you think there's certain aspects of life that happens around everywhere that's simulated? No, um, no, I don't believe in simulation. If you ever watched The Matrix, no. So but I know, I know what you mean. Though. Like I know what it is. Like I, I know what it is. I, I believe there's a matrix, but I don't believe it's that matrix. Like I believe, like if somebody doesn't like you. That's in the government or something like that. They can get rid of you. I feel like they done it on purpose to get rid of him. Like I genuinely believe they tried to get yeah. rid of him. I honestly believe if he wasn't as famous as he was, they probably would have killed him. I swear. Like I genuinely believe stuff well, like that happens. There's still time. Yeah, but I believe stuff like that kind of. I think happen. he actually. I think he actually. I think. Well, I know from what he said on Twitter, he actually thinks like they're gonna come kill him. Like they will kill yeah. him. Yeah. Because he, how many tweets did he put out saying that he? Listen, I'm never gonna kill myself. We well, said the yeah. The first thing they'll do is what is it? The first thing they'll do is cancel you. The second thing they'll do is put you in jail. The third thing they'll do is try to kill you. And he said that when. Before he got cancelled. But the, this is the thing, right? I thought he was getting ahead of the game. So I thought he was saying yeah. it because he's guilty. Like, this is what they're going to do. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, to yeah. say, like, I'm not guilty. Yeah. Like So I'm thinking, no, you're just trying to get ahead. Like, I know what you're doing. Yeah. He, the guy hasn't been charged. So now I believe him. He has yeah. never been charged. He hasn't been charged. So I believe him now. But yeah, but the whole sort of like... The, so the Matrix theory that I kind of... I wouldn't say believe him, but I do question it. And I'm always kind of like, hmm. So like... Say, for instance, I think on The Matrix, right, there's, like, random building, say, New York City, right? They'll walk through a random fire exit in a New York skyscraper building. But as they walk through the, the door, they go back to their home base out of The Matrix, right? Oh, so kind of like uh, Harry Potter when they go in. Yeah, I get it. So kind of like GTA buildings. Okay, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, sometimes, and I'll be honest with you, and it, and, it, and it stuck with me since I went to New York, like, six, seven years ago, right? I'm seeing all these tourists out in the streets, right? I'm seeing loads of people, like as many people as I can see, right? But then I'm looking at these massive, and they're everywhere, humongous buildings that are like hundreds and hundreds of floors. And I'm in my hotel room, and I'm looking across these buildings, thinking, yo, I don't, I don't even see anyone in there. Like, are these buildings even, like, being used? Or It's so weird. Like, I don't quite understand. There must be, like, a word for this type of theory, but, like, I, sometimes I look at a building and be like, especially in New York, it's like, like who's in there? Like, like there's no one at the bottom that I can see. I can't even see through the windows. Like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of floors, right? You would imagine, as soon as five o'clock hits, work time finishes, yeah. it's all flooded. I, you, honestly, you never, some buildings obviously get used, right? But sometimes, if you ever go to New York or any sort of big city, all the big cities, I'm just looking at these buildings thinking, yo, bro, are these even being used? And like, what for? Like, what could you be, but what what could possibly be you, like you would need a a 400 story building full of offices and they're, and they're massive offices as well. So what if it's the Ministry of Magic? It's just weird. Like, I'll give you an example. Like the place I worked in, right, it was a very small building, very small floor. And we were the whole department of a massive energy company in the UK, right? Of about, there's about 100 of us, 150 of us, that deals with a huge department for an energy company. Like, thinking, what, what are these buildings being used for? I don't know, I just find it weird. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. That is Do you know what I mean? I just find it weird. And then you've got like 100 floors that could probably fit like 50 people on each floor. So that's like 500 people. But you know what, like, in uh, the one building I was looking across from, right, I could see like about... That made no sense. I was about 60 floors up, looking across to a skyscraper, and I could see about four or five people on one floor. But you could see, you couldn't even see out so far out the back, like the floor was huge. I was thinking, right, there's like four people on a massive floor. I'm looking at all the other floors. No one's in there. No one's in there. I don't know, man. It's just weird. It's like them GTA buildings, like you can't get into them. Uh, like you play a game and you can't get into certain yeah, buildings. I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in. I don't believe. Like I don't want to believe in simulation because I have kids. Like I don't want to believe like everything's a simulation. Like do you know what I mean? That's something <laughs> I don't want to believe in. Yeah. But I genuinely do believe in like um, people in cloaks doing weird shit. Oh yeah, no. What like witchcraft and stuff? Have you seen like um? Have you ever seen that film uh, with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, Eyes Wide Shut? Yeah, the Illuminati eyes wide shut. That part. Wild, bro. That's that's what like, well, that's what people are the saying. Sex like, part, you know. Yeah, like what what happened to Doja Cat? Oh. 
like Doja Cat was like she's like the new sort of like yeah eyes wide shut getting rinsed through by everyone sort of person but i don't know what what truth is behind that but that's what people are saying but <laughs> she's fired no well. but those are actual like those genuinely do happen oh like, yeah 100 percent. like these weirdos that just wear like what masquerade masks yeah. in they go to balls and then at the end of the ball they like kill a couple of kids drink their blood and then they all have sex with each other i just if you want to ask me i genuinely think that happens 100 percent. 100 percent that happens but um, it's wild though, isn't it? If you think about it, bro, bro, the world is full of evil, Mike. Like there's oh, more. Oh no, there's way the, more evil than good. Way, yeah, way more, more evil than good. Yeah, in the way world, more. You know, and that's why. Well, it's, it's, it's Easter weekend, baby. That's why you gotta you gotta turn to your. Listen, my 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 oh, religion. Sh- I'm a Christian, right? I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ's ways, and I think if you turn to Jesus, your life will be better. At the end of the day I, I don't Like I just think If you believe in something You have to believe in something You yeah, have to believe in something, something. Like ju- Like I've asked so many people Like believe Just Like what is your it, Even if you don't Think there's a heaven Even if you don't believe There's a heaven Your concept of heaven That can get you through stuff Just yeah. your concept Of what happens To you after this life Don't just think That when you die That's it Like I Can you imagine feeling that No, no. I don't feel like that no. I genuinely don't feel like if I die, like that's it. It's yeah. my, it's finished. I, I, no, my, the, the thing inside me just goes. I don't believe that. I don't believe that, and I don't understand how people just live their life like that. I I, I don't know. So even if you don't believe in a religion, just believe, man. Just like, believe. I I feel like there's all to gain and nothing to lose if you have a religion or you believe in a god and you follow certain rules and commandments, like. I obviously, I've been reading the Bible. I read it every night, right? And there's nothing in there that I've read which is like, changed how I've always felt as a person or the rules that I've, fo- I've always followed. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't steal, don't murder. Like, bro, those, those come with just being a good, decent human being. And like, all the stuff that I've read, it's very empowering. This, this is a good book. But um, I don't know. Well, oh, shit. I don't know, man. I just feel like... um. I just feel like, yeah, man, there's a lot of bad and evil in the world. And I just feel like if, if the time does come to it, like you want to be saved. Like you don't want to be stuck there with the rest of them. I, I just, do you know, do you know, if I had advice, though, is just protect the children, man. Like I'm yeah, not even 100%. joking. You have to protect the kids. It's all about the kids. You have to protect them. It's all about the kids. Because do not let these psycho weirdos try and tell you anything about how to raise your children or... That your children has their own mind and has their own brain at the age of 10 and 11. That is absolute yeah. full of shit. And there's people getting their kids chemically castrated. It's because, weird, mate. Because it's they're, weird. They're, they're four years old, they're a boy, and they think they might be a girl because of whatever it is that's influencing them. And you're getting them chemically castrated. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Like, they're a kid. They don't it's know what disgusting. they want. They might regret it when they're older. It's just... I don't know, man. This world's becoming violent. There's going to be nobody in this entire existence, in this universe, that's ever going to tell me yeah. to do anything with my kids, like how to raise them, yeah, how I to know. do anything with them. Nobody's going to influence them yeah. except for their parents, me and their mother. Like, that's it. I yeah. don't care. I do not care. Um, Because I saw, like, twice on... I never react to stuff on Twitter. Yeah. When I see tweets, I don't react because I just yeah. don't do that. It's like a waste of my energy and a waste of my time. Mm-hmm. But there's two things on Twitter today that made me actually want to delete my uh, Twitter account because I am so sick and tired of seeing these things and mm. people thinking that, like, even just, like, these, like, news outlets promoting these people and putting them on their platform, yeah. these people should never, ever just... They should never... They shouldn't even... I hate these people anyway. I don't even want to go into it. But Peter Thatchell, his name is. I, I want to make sure I get his name right. I'll pop him up on screen. Yeah, Peter Thatchell. And um, I seen a video go viral today of him and he said that, you know, he had friends that when they were kids, when they were like nine, ten years old, they were sleeping with older men and um, he didn't see a problem with it because they consented to her. You're a pedophile. Yeah, you're a pedophile. Yeah, you're straight up pedophile. But, but this, this is, this is, this is what I'm not understanding, right? This is, this is what I'm not understanding. It doesn't matter if somebody consents to it. If you're forty, and the kid is under the age of sixteen, that's against the law, right? In the UK. 
It's against the law. But the, according to this guy, that's consent, yeah? He, 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 like, like he's saying it's consent. So if my eight-year-old son wanted to go into a bank with a gun and wanted to rob it, yeah. but it was his choice, he, he, that, 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 that's totally fine, is it? No, it doesn't make sense. Things are illegal. It's a law. You shouldn't... It's, it's illegal. Anyway, it's sick. Like, I don't like that guy. It's really wound me up. He's, uh, what is, it's ruined he's, my day. He's I'm an, telling you. He's an LGBTQ plus activist. Yeah, it? it ruined my day. He's a trans activist as well. And it, it, it honestly, like, when I saw that clip, I, it just... Listen, all them things aside, right? He can be a fucking unicorn forever. I, I give a shit, right? But what he's saying about kids, like, check his hard drive, innit? Like, check his computer, check his phone, because that, to me, is very pedophile behavior. But there's... Well, there's a the thing, like, there is a lot of them, and there's a couple of clips that I have seen, and it's mainly America. Like the stuff I see, in America is just. Yeah, but this yeah. guy's from. This guy is from the UK, and he does. Is some, he? He does some work in Wales and in, in England. Where? Because I'll fucking smash. This is this is this is this is this is it though, right? Like, I just want to ask him a question. So, if a nine-year-old or a ten-year-old or somebody even under the age of sixteen consents to having sex with somebody, would that's it, what yeah, I want to know. Yeah. That's that's just all I want to know, and I want to know. Do you know seriously? Though, I'm not giving this up. I want to know who endorses him. Yeah. I want to know who gives him stuff because apparently he is a major, major activist. Like he is a high, he's a high up activist in the LGBTQ community. So I genuinely like I'm That's not letting this go man. because it's just like it's foul. Like it's disgusting and it just it wound me up. Like I hated it. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Hated it. I hated no, it. Hundred percent. Yo, listen, uh, Michael want my oh misfits boxing. <laughs> Get him uh, in the ring. I, 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 no. Get him in a ring with you, cause uh, I couldn't because I didn't. I just slap. No, nah. take the gum shield off and bite him. Um, but you know, can, sorry, can I just say something though, right? Like, right. So like, this guy who was an activist in this community, right, is pushing this agenda, right? But now, if my agenda was to hate every single person in that LGBTQ community, who would be in the wrong? Me. The, you know what? That 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 was actually going to be one of my biggest points about the whole sort of LGBTQ plus community right it. now. Um, I have nothing against them. Like we, we've had gay friends. Our uncle's gay. Like, do you know what I mean? We, we're not homophobic. We don't hate anybody, right? Now, if I was to disagree with the whole sort of LGBTQ plus and you know, um, gay relationships and stuff, if I was to disagree with that based on religious grounds, because I can, because that's what my religion tells me to do. I'm the bad guy. I'm in the wrong, in it, which is something I don't quite understand because they're very much, and you can see them as well. Like they'll say, like, "Oh, you, you ever seen that show? I think Netflix was gonna allow it to come back on. They banned it. It was called Jesus is Gay. It's a TV show. Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah, and stuff like that. And you know, they can put up signs like, "Oh, Jesus was gay. Jesus loves trans, and this, that, and whatever." But the Bible clearly states, like. Is very views on the homosexual relationships and men turn into women, women turn into men, or whatever. Like, but if I was to disagree with that and I wasn't going to like that, then I am automatically the villain in a scenario. Which, so I mean, like, I'm not saying that is me, right? Because I just believe in if you're a good person, you're a good person. Yeah, 100%. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I've got nothing against anybody, 100%. right? But some people ain't like that, and I feel like. Especially in workplaces where I've been in, where they will for, where they will, like have like a Pride Month for like a Pride Week, and they'll change uh, your wallpapers on your your work computers, and they'll try and get you to take part in stuff. And if somebody's really, really super against that, they're they're, the they're forcing them to participate yeah. in it, which I also believe is wrong. So, I just feel like, I don't know, and this is why it goes back to like my whole thing on free speech right it's that you just gotta leave people to believe in what they want to believe in as long as it doesn't interfere with your life and your way of living like don't let somebody else take control of that do you know what i mean like if you if you disagree with the lgbtq plus because of your religious beliefs then that's fine but if you disagree with that person's religion because you're all about lgbtq plus then that's fine as well but i just feel like people are just constantly going back and forth i hate this i hate that like just leave it, man. Just fucking look after yourself and your own family. So let me ask you something. So do you think that religion creates more of a problem? 
Well, because it's a gangster religion. It's a gangster entire religion. No, beliefs. but what I'm trying to say to you is, was if there was no religion, then you wouldn't think like that, would you? Um, so is is religion? This maybe, is why, maybe not. but this is this is this is the whole reason why, like they say, like war staff because of religion, don't they? Because of like not necessarily no. Well, like the Palestinians and the Israelis going out because of religion. Well, that's they? yeah, but that's just one place. But that's been going yeah, on for I, centuries, though. That ain't just like that ain't just like that. That's been going on forever. But I'm uh, like, ain't wasn't it like Hitler and the Jews as well? That was based on religion. Yeah, but then obviously he moved past the whole like obviously with the Jews and stuff. He still captured them, but he still wanted world dominance. Yeah, but the, oh yeah, no, hundred percent. But this, yeah, but he wanted to make it his own, his own. Like I think he wanted everyone to be Catholic. Like wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know if like these wars are based on like oh I want to make this an entire Christian or Catholic or Muslim country. Like I've that's never seemed to be the agenda. The, the agenda is always power, money, and oil war. It's I never think... been about race and. Religion. I think in the past, like, I, 40 odd years, I think it's been more about oil, but I'm pretty sure back in the days it, it was more about is. religion. Fuck. But, like, but like these days, I almost feel like it ain't even about, like, m- yeah, it's always, always about the element of money and stuff, but it's also at the same time, like, like, I, Putin don't like someone or oh, something. It's, like, it's, it's a measuring dick contest. That's, that's what, what it is. is. Exactly. So, it is. Just, get but, your, uh, just get your dicks out and whoever's got the biggest one, then they can take over. Or just, like, literally just scrap. Do you know what I mean? Just have a your own never fight. Would, though. Like, who's, gonna, like Joe, who's, gonna, who's Joe Biden going to fight? Bro, Putin's like a judo master or some shit. And he does, like, bare judo in there. But, um, I reckon he's dead, me. Oh, Putin. Yeah, I reckon he's got, like, a robot in him. Dragon. Yeah, I reckon he's brown bread, me. Yo, he's, yo, he's like, one of the richest men on the planet. Just because he's the president of Russia is crazy. Yeah, but do you know, like, Russia are, like, finished? I don't know, man. I don't really keep up with it because, to be honest with you, like, the whole thing just makes me sick. And China. Are like, China finished? Like, in 10 years, they're going to be finished. But, like, war and stuff in, like, people's countries, like, you, you're just playing around with innocent people's lives at this point. And it's just, like, nobody asks for it. Nobody wants war. So just fucking leave off, will you? But, um, but yeah. Uh, so what have we covered, Mike? KSI sidemen stuff. The top G is free. Um, we obviously want to talk about. No, can we can we talk about the second tweet that made me very very angry? Yeah, um, there was actually like another conspiracy, like not a conspiracy, but a, but a theory that I came across. Uh, but yeah, go on. About what? I can't remember. Oh no, it was about um, another tweet that really 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 like got in my nerves. We spoke about it like maybe two three episodes ago. It was about. Um, um, uh, uh, men who transition to women and then takes part in a sport and like Fallon Fox like I think she's given two women I think she's broken two women's skulls yeah and then she got honoured like brave sports personality yeah, of so the year yeah so Fallon Fox she's a MMA fighter who transitioned from a man to a woman at the age of 17 the puberty yeah at 17 yeah. Um, she's then fought women um, she beat everybody except for one woman. Um, she got so, beat, did she? So shout out to that lady. Good on you. Um, but uh, but back in 2020, she was crowned uh, like a sports sort of honor, brave, yeah, brave real or some shit like that. Yeah. But meanwhile, right, and and this is just based on pure science, right? You're a female. Sorry, you're a man who's transitioned to a woman after puberty, there is a lot more different biological advantages you have as a man. So your bone density, your bones are harder, your bones are stronger, your power, you're basically like every attribute you need. It, I don't know. Let me, can, can I just say something? Can Like it's sick in it really. Do you know, like, do you know, on, man. Do you know all the opponents Fallon Fox has faced? Can they get pregnant? Yeah. Can Fallon Fox get pregnant? I don't know where you're going with that, though. Because she's fighting women. Yeah, no, I know that. I think, I think it's pretty obvious that she's a, like she was a, she's trans. Do you so, know what I mean? Yeah, like, they, is, they this... should just... This is what I don't get. Just start a trans league. There's, there's not enough. That's why they won't. Well, tough, isn't it? Like, you, just, you have to just keep scrapping each other because if you don't want to fight men... That's, that's, that's on you. But you should not be like... This. Yeah, why don't you want to fight men? It's... Because she identifies as a woman, so, but so but if, if like like ain't that the whole thing with like women knowing like women and guys and that they want like equal pay types things in sports, <laughs> so why don't she just go into the men's league and get the men's money? 
because uh, it's easier to fight women. Exactly. This is what I'm trying to say. It's yeah. like it's like bullying. I don't think I don't think well, she she may or she may not. I don't know that I don't know the woman. She probably disagree, but I don't think she's because she's not as good in the men's that she's then gone on to the women and she just wants to batter them. I don't know, man. I just think it's just very very weird. Do you think right? And this is the guy. Right? Do you think the 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 M M A committee? MMA. Can, MMA committee can say to if if like the like Dana White for instance if he was like I want Fallon Fox to fight one of my guys yeah. do you think they would allow her her to fight a man yeah who would allow her do you think like because the, it has to go through like um well, I don't know Mike because like you just don't know with like businesses and companies anymore how close knit they are with the LGBTQ plus community like you just don't know some don't companies think... will say. Nah, I don't care. Like, yeah, go on in. That's fine. But some of them, it always comes down to, and this is the problem with every content creator, every business out there, everyone's so scared to get cancelled. They want to say what's on their mind. They want to give their opinions, like how we're giving our opinions. They want to say it, but they won't say it because they're scared of getting cancelled. That's what it comes down to. So they would probably say no because they would be scared of like a backlash from them. But who cares? Like, who cares what they, listen, but they, what they think or what anybody else thinks? Like, just stand by your beliefs and so go with what you know, You can't with. even be your own person because somebody No, you can't. Might, because somebody might disagree with you. Listen, I, I right? Care. We could, care. right? Let, enough. Listen, let's say, like, this is how we envision it, right? In the next three, four, five years, right? We'll have thousands of subscribers, right? We'll have thousands of views on a podcast. People will go back to these early podcasts but you will still get the same three years, five years from now. So I don't care. You want to try and cancel them. You can't cancel somebody who don't care about getting cancelled, in my opinion. But there's so many people that's... It always comes down to money, doesn't it? Like, oh, I can't say that. Although I really believe in it. But I can't say because I'll get cancelled. What's the consequences of getting cancelled? Oh, I'm going to lose my sponsorships. Oh, I'm going to lose this deal. Oh, I'm going to lose viewers. Oh, I'm going to lose subscribers. Bro, just be yourself, innit? Yeah, but think about the things. But this is, this is, what, I, this is what I'm not understanding, right? Just get down to the meat of what we're saying, right? Yeah. For me, a, a man who transitions into a woman should not be competing with women in a combat sport. It's as simple as that, right? Yeah. That's the first thing that I don't agree with. Yeah. The second thing is, I don't agree. If a nine-year-old consents to having sex with an older person, then that's fine. The other two things that we disagree yeah. with. So get down to a meat of it. So if you, um, if somebody disagree, don't like my opinions on that, I don't like you. Yeah, I don't like you. Yeah, just click off the video. Yeah, I don't like you. It's as simple as that. Take I don't your trousers like off you. and sit on a cactus, you prick. <laughs> but um, but uh, God, but yeah, but no. I'll, a few I'll confrontations listen. on this episode. I swear. I to can God. Go, do you know what? Genuinely, I'll, like I, I sometimes I do get to a point because like I don't want to like, and I don't want to say something that I don't agree with. Like, and I and that I don't want to say something that I agree with, which I actually don't agree with. But then I say something I don't agree with, but I agree with. Do you know what I mean? Like, 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 like I said, and you agree as well. We we just only care about good people. Whatever you want to do in your extracurricular activities, as long as it ain't illegal and it's not disgusting or whatever, that's fine. That's and you're all not I physically care hurting someone yet. And that's all that's all we care about, right? We have no prejudice towards any religion, race, Never. sex, gender. Never. What I do not give a shit, right? But like you said, get to the meat of it and get to the point of what we're saying. Do you, do you know what's wild though about somebody? Say somebody watches this, right? Yeah. They'd probably be more pissed off that we said we like Andrew Tate than anything else. Probably. That's the well, worst part. We said the side men have been boring. <laughs> they uh, yeah, yeah, it. something to do with the side men. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be something to do with that. But um, but yeah, but I think oh, I suppose we got time for the last thing I wanted to talk about, which is obviously Donald J Trump. T R U M P. Trump, 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 Trump. Oh, she curses a fan over there. But, um, but yeah. I'm not gonna do what he did. No. But Donald Trump, he's facing. I can't remember if it was 137 charges or 137 years or whatever. No, he's 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 facing like 60. I think it dropped down to like 34 charges. Listen, right? they're trying to lock him up for life. Right? That, that's prison. what it comes down to. He's, he's not in prison. But the um, I haven't seen it yet. But the Nelk Boys did a podcast with Donald Trump Jr. And, oh, recently. Uh, yeah. Oh, I need to watch it. And um, and yeah, and I. There's one thing that really like stands out to me, right? Is the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing. That's the first thing that comes to mind. How could Donald Trump, right, out of all those previous presidents that they've had, right, be the first one in history 
to face charges and potentially go to prison. That is absolutely insane to me, especially when you've got a little sicko like Bill Clinton, right, who is best mates with Jeffrey Epstein, flying on his private jet all around the world, going to his island multiple times. Hillary Clinton literally is possessed by a demon. I think she's just genuinely evil and she's sick and twisted. Um, and uh, and there's uh, some other stuff about Obama, but I, I, I'm not too sure about all that stuff. But yeah, but Bill Clinton in particular, and even George Bush for those illegal wars in, in Iraq, in the Middle East and stuff, all that was incredibly illegal. But Donald Trump, out of everybody, like to be the first one to get indicted on like federal charges it's and ridiculous. go to prison. He's he won't, he's, he won't go to prison. He Bro. won't go to prison. But um, and Look, I, do, do that's what know? Donald Trump Jr. was saying. He was like, how have you got like my dad, like, but then he's like, they're, they're trying to send him to prison when you've got all these little creeps, right? The only person that's faced charges, right, for human child sex trafficking is Ghislaine Maxwell. 25 years out of everybody. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, she got charged, did she? Yeah. I didn't know that. 25 years and out of everybody, absolutely nothing. No flight log list, nobody that was on the list. They've got speculations on the list. And to be honest with you, I think they're probably even going to put fake names on the list to just hide some of the real top dogs yeah. in it. Do you know what I mean? So, 100%. like, they need to release the list because I can guarantee you, bro, all hell will break loose. Trust me. Where's them emails to? Let me ask you a question. There's one celebrity or person in the planet, right, that say it just came out that they did something horrific and they're facing charges. Which celebrity in the world, just the one person, would truly break your heart if something came out of barn? Asa Wenger. <laughs> yeah. That would kill me. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not even joking. If Asa Wenger was on that plane with Epstein, I'm, no, I'm <laughs> telling you right now, nope. No, that would kill me. Yeah, that would be... No, yeah. That would be tough. No, man. but honestly, though, like, honestly... Um, Adam Sadler. Oh, yeah. That would truly break my heart. Yeah. Do you know people... Or have, Jim Carrey, one no, of them. I know, but I have seen, like, a couple of things about, like, people have been saying, mm, Adam Sadler, Jim Carrey. <laughs> Dicey. I have seen a couple of things like that. Bro, but, like, everybody, like, everybody in Hollywood is going to have something about them. 100%. Yeah. Like, everybody does. It's whether... It's just what is actually true or not. Like, that's just what it comes down to. Do you know what? One of the maddest stories I've ever heard about, like, them sort of weird... Hollywood elite type signing with the Illuminati stuff. We have it, um, I think I mentioned ages ago, Crept and Conan, when they signed with, I don't know if it was Universal or something, like a massive music label. He basically goes, he's speaking to this girl, he's doing an interview, right? And he's going to her, oh yeah, so we was about to sign a deal. We're speaking to like one of the lawyers that was really pushing on us, isn't it? and we didn't like it. And um, he goes, oh, he just he goes, I, I didn't like how pushy they was for me to sign it, isn't it? So then he goes, I called my ex-manager and me and Crap was speaking to him and he goes, he goes, if I'm lying, I'm flying, right? He goes, he was speaking to him. He, go, he goes, all of a sudden, he goes, his voice just changed. His voice just changed. He goes, bro, he sounded like a little, like, goblin, like, demon. He's going, sign it, sign it, sign it now, sign it, sign it. Like a little goblin thing. He goes, he looked at the phone, he dropped the phone on the floor and he goes, him and Crap then... Whatever, they're all just staring at the phone like, yo, what the fuck? Then, Did yeah. you just hear that? Then all of a sudden he goes, yeah, so in the end we signed it. Bro, like, you are a straight no, bean, yeah. bro. Yeah. You are an idiot, bro. He's literally right. Probably like, oh, I don't know, man. When he was saying this, well, I was like, bro, I had goosebumps. I was like, yeah, yo, that's yeah. fucking weird, bro. But then he signed it and then he did like a, a video afterwards and they're like celebrating out there and you can just see, I, I think it, the little one anyway. Is it Conan? I love Conan. Conan, the little one. He's just like, and it crap's like buzzing with his like old manager and they're like, got a hand on each other like, oh yeah. And then Conan's just like in the background like, yo, Yo. like what have I done? This is like, obviously he told the story like ages after because he signed it anyway. I think they can just literally infiltrate anybody they want. Do you know what? If you want money and fame, they will get you. They do it with, so back in the day it was actors because films were bigger than anything else. But now it's musicians. Yeah. Like they're taking over. Like like I genuinely believe they, they have infiltrated so many musicians. It's insane. Like you said, Uzi. hundred percent. Like Travis Scott. hundred percent. Like they've gen like I didn't really think, but I think they've genuinely been infiltrated. Do you know how they get him? 
apparently how they get them is in those types of eyes wide shut parties. Like they will, they'll, the best thing, the things that they do to them, right? They'll always have leverage. So they will get, they'll have a film or pictures of them in a very compromising situation. And they'll use that as leverage and be like, yo, if this gets out, like... But it's got to be something really like... Because, like, I'm not being funny. If Travis Scott's bent over and, like, like a woman... Even a guy is eating his ass. I don't think it ruins his career. <laughs> like, I genuinely don't think it ruins his career. I I, I think it's got to be, like, some type of animal or something like that. Like, or, like, some, like, like I said, like, something illegal. Like, I don't think, like... A, even, like... Even if Travis Scott's on all fours and a woman is pegging him, I don't think it ruins his career. Listen, do, do you know what my defence would be to that? It was chat GBT, it's AI, it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, mate, no me. That shit's lethal. It is no me. But, that um, stuff's lethal. But yeah, like, 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 what can they really have on you, except for if it's like underage stuff? Like, what can they really have well, on that's you? That's what they might, well, they're all wearing masks, aren't they, Mike? Yeah. So you don't know who's under these masks. You'd, you'd never know, do you? I think you should know, but you never know. But, but even if, like, he was sat down, leg spread, and he had a guy shaving his balls, like, like nothing like that is going to ruin your career. Like, there's no amount of money, and I believe, and, I, and everybody should follow it. There's no amount of money that should make you do something that you don't agree with. Like, you shouldn't do it. Like, do you know I, uh, that, happen, that, like, that happens in football as well? Wow. Like, they have, like, players, and, like, they used to have, like, players in, like, fucked up positions. And they used to get, like... Like, managers used to send, like, other players into, like... What? Club, like, so... Bro, you a, have to, like... Did, if did, a player just signed for a club, right? Yeah. Like, like, because back like back in them days, there wasn't, like, many yeah. foreign players that used yeah. to come over. So what they used to do is, with the British players, is that a manager, like, would send, like, another player into their room and try and get them to, like, suck their wood or something like that. Mm. And then other people would bust into the room and be like, oh shit, what, what the fuck's going on? And then they saw them and then they got, that, they got that player. So that's what sometimes they'd make them do to sign contracts and stuff like that. Fuck. <laughs> that's mental. I ain't I, never heard of that. Because I, I, I heard, I heard what, I'm not going to, I can't say because I don't really remember, but I heard a story when I was like 13, 12 years old with like a big manager. So Like a big manager. All right, tell me off camera. Yeah, yeah. But, it, was, um, it was crazy, though. I need to look at that, man. Well, not, not actually look at it, but, like, I need to look that up. Do you know what they used to... They, they used to... I should... I, I'll tell you off, yeah. I'll tell you off. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I think uh, we've gone over an hour, so anything you want to finish on? No, do you want to just... Yeah, is it an hour, is it? I don't yeah. want to leave it too, I don't want to go too Yeah, long. We, we don't like to leave it too long, so just over an hour. So, yeah, we'll wrap this up. Big day for us, Tuesday. We're going to film our first podcast, our first guest. So expect to see that next Monday. Um, make sure, obviously, drop a like, comment, comment anything. As we say every week, comment whatever it might be. Appreciate all comments and thank you. Subscribe as well. As today I'm recording, we're on 111 subscribers. Hey. So, um I gotta say congratulations to you though. Well, listen, it was, that, no, that, that, we gotta get there, man. But also that traveler story, we blew the hell up on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. But it had like nine thousand views in a day. I was like, what the I fuck? I know it's on like eighteen k views Jeez. on TikTok. Jeez. So yeah, our first little mini viral oh. clip from the podcast. So, but you know what's funny though? I didn't even tell like the proper like all the full story. No, it's better the way you did it though. It was good the way you did it. But like even like it, during the podcast, like I missed like details. Like yeah. the guy thought he had like a Joker scar going from his ear to his corner of his mouth. Oh hell no. I know, I had... One of them had cauliflower in it as well, didn't they? Yeah, they thought they were rugby players. Oh, like hell no. the guy was telling me there was rugby players I'm and good. shit. I'm good. Anyway, but um yeah. Appreciate you all watching. Uh make sure you check out next week's podcast. It's gonna be a good one. Um yeah anything? Come and tune in on Sunday. What? It's out Monday, Mike. So are they going to tune in Sunday? <laughs> but the Try Not To Laugh video part two is out now. So check that out as well. Um, it'll come up after this video is outro. But yeah, hope you've had a good Easter weekend. And we'll catch you next week. Nice one, guys. Put it all on me, on me. You drink for free. Oh, baby, you know what I need, I need. Go and get the keys, I can get you anything. Put it all on me, on me. You drink.